What are we cooking today, Tim? Food! Welcome to the most musty cooking show on YouTube. Welcome to Brother Sister Cooking. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yes. Yeah. What are we making today? Apple pie. Why? Uh, we're because making it because um, we're doing, we're going to do as many cooking videos as we can because like the holiday season is coming up and it's going to be in full swing soon. So we want to make food, give all the good tips, food, tips, food, tips, food. Tips. food. Yeah! <laughs> First thing we did, took our pie plate and we put like a little bit of Pam on it, a little bit of cooking spray. Thrust for pie. Voila. <gasps> oh, it ripped. Oh, uh, Tim, I was looking at you. Oh. oh, no. Now we have to patch it. How do we patch it? I don't know. Just like that, I guess. It's such a pain. Pie crusts are a pain. Now imagine holding Maybe it. this one should be the top. Yeah. No. All right. So put a pie crust in. Unbaked. Yeah. We want it unbaked. So now we have a bowl of apples. You're supposed to have eight cups of apples peeled and sliced like this. So what I usually do, I don't what? I was gonna I was gonna pretend to go in and I don't um measure out the cups. What I do is usually eight apples is eight cups, but but these were all really small apples. So I think there's 12. But if you want to measure it out, you can. Whatever floats to your boat. So I'm gonna take an apple that I peeled and I cut it in half, so it's halved. And now I'm gonna cut out the core. So. Now I like cut it out like that. And then I just feel to make sure there isn't any like core left in it. And then I just, slice it like like that be careful kids or adults I don't know who watches these videos I don't know the demographic age so I don't know if I blinked or not come on come on Hi. We have our bowl of sliced of apple. Oh, jeez. Now we're gonna add sugar, flour. You wanna add the flour to? Cinnamon. You wanna do the cinnamon? Yeah, sure. Salt. Because apparently baking has salt in it. I never knew that. And nutmeg, nutmeg. which we just went to the store and bought because we ran out like a week ago. No, we didn't run out. We never run out of food. We totally do. That's so, for the apples, apples, we used Granny Smith apples, which, they have, like, different apples for baking and eating, but I don't get all that stuff. I mean, I get it, but I don't know if it's, like, true. Cause plenty of, they say you shouldn't use, like, Macintosh apples, for example, for baking. I use Macintosh tons of times, so I'll just use whatever apples Macintosh you like. My second favorite apple, I think. I don't know if that's like technically right, but that's what I do. Oh, you there. <laughs> so unless you play or a dog or some mice or a brainwash buddy or a spider man, then he doesn't necessarily have to yield. When Captain America sing the song, do do do. You stir that. Stir it all up. Um, until, like, everything is mixed. Coagulated. Coag coagulated. <laughs> Just, like, all melted. Because the sugar melts and stuff. Might have done this a few too many times. What? I'm not going to tip it too much. But you know what happened last time to happen again. See, like, the sugar melts and everything. And Now, you want to pour it in or me? Probably me, right? You'll see it. Pour it all in. 
And just kind of be careful because it's going to like overflow a lot. Which is good. Yeah, you want it to because everything's going to bake down. Sadly. I still want it. One day I will have an apple pie by this doll. I promise. And get all that sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg stuff in it. All those amazing things. You know what I always like to do after? Just lick the bowl. Give me the bowl! So I smoothed it down so it's like... All in there. So now we're going to take some butter. You want to do this? No? Yes. No. Wait, wait, wait. No. Okay, I'll do it because you don't know. Just cut up little pieces and it's called dotting the pie. See, what just like anywhere. When you cut, I'll move them around. doesn't matter where you put them. You just want them to be all over the pie because the butter is going to melt down. And Oh, unsalted butter. You want unsalted butter. You know what you have to do? I just thought of it, and I have to go do it to my oven. But, this is going to drip a lot, so you have to put, like, tin foil on the bottom. On the bottom, at least ours always drips, so we always put tin foil on the bottom rack of our oven. Otherwise, it's all going to drip on the bottom of the stove, and, like, it burns, it smokes, your whole house is, like, your fire alarm's going to go off. And, and if you're, like, living with us, your dogs will start freaking out. Second pie crust. Can I put it on? Yeah, you want me to unroll it for you? No. Please don't rip it then. I won't. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Pie. So we put it on. You know, we're just gonna like fold the corners in and just seal them with the bottom pie crust. You can do a fancy design if you want. We don't. We I do sometimes like on Thanksgiving or something, but if it's just a pie just for the five of us, Which? I don't. You just kind of push that all down. Fold it all the corners. It's rustic looking. Rustic. Which, that's nice. So we made an egg wash now. I don't want to spill it. An egg wash. Okay. So it was one tablespoon of water and an egg yolk and we just mixed it together. And now we're just gonna lightly brush it all over. Um, the so thing is, you don't, the only thing I will say about this, you want, it's, don't get nervous about it because nothing bad's gonna happen. But if you brush too much of this on, it'll make like scrambled eggs on your pie. So... Just, you know, kind of use a light hand. Go everywhere with it, but don't go crazy. Like, I use maybe three or four dips. And that's it. Yeah. Last thing. You want to do it? We're just going to poke it all over with, like, a fork or a knife to create ventilation. To that. Please stop. Last thing we're going to do is we're just going to poke it all over with a knife or a fork just to create the ventilation so that air can get inside so this is what just you know poke it all over with holes so now we're going to put it in the oven um 425 degrees fahrenheit for 15 minutes and then 350 for 45 minutes Okay, so, and don't forget to put the tin foil on the bottom rack. All right, so this is the pie. Came out of the oven. Yum, yum, yum! Look at all that juice. All right, so, hold on. Ouch. Ooh. All right, so that is how you make our apple pie. It's perfect for Thanksgiving or the fall season or pretty much just any day, any time of the year. It's his favorite. It's our other brother's favorite. So we're gonna go dig into that now with lots of whipped cream. So, um, are you gonna say thanks for watching? Thanks for watching. All right. Bye. Bye.